Vectors 9.2 systems of linear equations in R2. So we are following Nelson book and here is an example from Nelson book. However, my approach to solve this is entirely different. And I have purposely taken up this question since you do have a solution in the book which you can go through. And my solution is more tuned towards answering getting quick answers. At times I have seen similar questions in multiple choice and it is not really worth spending 10 to 15 minutes in a problem like this to solve. So our approach is to you know answer this kind of questions in a multiple choice question. Let's put it like that. So question here is consider the system of equations x plus ky equals to 4 and kx plus 4y equals to 8. Determine the values of k for which the system of equation has no solution, one solution, or infinite number of solutions. So let's begin by writing down our equations. The first one is x plus ky equals to 4 and the second one is kx plus 4y equals to 8. Now I'll show you two approaches in this particular video one using kind of vectors fundamentals. So you can see these equations as equations in scalar form, right? Cartesian equations for line in R2, where the normal is 1 and k for the first equation and k and 4 for the second equation. Now we know fairly well that if we are looking for no solution or infinite number of solutions, then we are looking for same direction number, right? So the direction number for the normal should also be same. So when we say that the direction numbers are same, so, so what are the direction numbers here? So we can say n1 is 1 and k, right? And n2, let me write like this, is k and 4, correct? So that is, uh, I have to write k and 4. So that is what the direction numbers are. Now we want them to be exactly same. So if I want to make them same, what should I do? Uh, well, a couple of approaches, I can multiply this by scalar multiple k and make them same, right? So I can write this as n1 as equals to, if I multiply by k, what do I get? I get k and k square. Do you see that? And uh, this is n2 for me. Is that okay? Now for these to be same, because we want them to be parallel. They can be parallel if their normals are same. Do you see that? Now that means that k square should be equals to 4. Do you see that? So that implies, so let me use a different ink here and show you my solution. That implies that k square equals to 4 and k square equals to 4 means k equals to plus minus 2, right? Square root of 4 with plus minus sign. So we get two conditions, that k is plus minus 2. Now if you write k as plus 2, you get one equation, and with minus 2, you get another equation. And you'll find that for one value of k, the equations are exactly same. And for the other value, the equations are with the same normal, right, but different y-intercepts, so they are parallel. So the parallel equation will have no solution and the same equation will have infinite number of solutions. That's how it is. Do you see that? Uh, let me do it. So we'll write plus 2 and write one equation and then minus 2 and write down the next equation and see what do we get. So if I use plus 2 here for k, I get an equation which is, so I'll write here two equations. With plus 2 I get x plus 2y equals to 4. That's the first equation. And plus 2 for this gives me 2x plus 4y equals to 8. This is when we are using plus 2. So let me just insert it in between. I used a value of k equals to plus 2. Now if I use k equals to minus 2, then what do I get? If I use k equals to minus 2, I get here minus 2. That means x minus 2y equals to 4 and if I do minus 2 here I get minus 2x plus 4y equals to 8. I can always multiply by minus 2 
and then see what do we we get minus 2 times minus I mean with minus sign so we get plus 2x minus 4y rather divide by minus so let's divide by minus 2 okay so if we divide by minus 2 let me rewrite so so what we are going to do here is we are going to divide by minus 2 this equation so we get x and minus 2y equals to minus 4 right so that is what we get and in this case you can clearly see these two equations have same normals right but different y intercepts so if k is negative 2 in that case lines are parallel and they have no solution right so we get our answer and that is no solution for k equals to minus 2 and infinite number of solutions for k equals to 2 right and obviously if it is neither of these two that means when k is not equals to plus minus 2 we have one solution right so that is how we can solve this equation straight away uh, right uh, after analyzing the normals right so that is one approach to this question the second approach is we can write them in slope intercept form and then find uh, they should have same slope for no solution or infinite solution correct right? so let's do that second approach so we'll write what is y equals to so i can write x ky equals to minus x plus 4 and y equals to minus 1 over kx plus 4 for this equation and here we can write 4y equals to minus kx plus 8 and y equals to minus uh, k over 4 we'll divide by 4 now uh, plus 2 so these are our two equations and for their slopes to be same we have minus 1 over k that is the slope for the first equation should be equals to minus k over 4 the slope for the second equation so x should have been there right now that's what we have now we can cross multiply and solve for k so if we cross multiply minus minus of course cancels out you get 4 equals to k square right so we get the same equation that is we can say k is equals to plus minus square root of 4 over just plus minus 2 so even otherwise if you adopt the general approach which is writing your line in the form of slope intercept form and uh, equating same slope for the two you know same slope means either no solution or infinite number of solutions correct so you get k equals to plus minus 2 and as we did here you can check what plus 2 what equations you get you'll get this set of equations with minus 2 you get the other set of equations and you know these are exactly same equations and therefore you get infinite solutions and these are with same slope different intercept and therefore parallel equations with no solution right so that is how we solve these questions now let's get back to the technical terms that is when you have no solution we say the system is inconsistent if we have a solution whether one or infinite the system is consistent right and here you see we have distinct lines maybe parallel distinct parallel lines here we have coincident lines do you understand so these are a few terms which you should remember and so we have linear system with one solution with no solution and when linear system with infinite solution for the value of k which could be plus 2 I should write plus 2 minus 2 or not equal to plus minus 2 right giving us these varieties of answers right I hope you get the concept so you can adopt either of these two approaches also to get your solution I'll recommend these solutions specially when you are solving multiple choice questions or kind of short answer questions but if there is a full question then it's better to you know do the general method of multiplying by k on both sides and then subtracting I mean substitution and elimination method and then getting the solution okay I hope you appreciate it thank you and all the best